What's up guys, how you all doing? So I have decided to do a mini tour of a geek's room on my vlog channel here, just for my vlog viewers. And the reason for that is that the main setup or room tour that I'm gonna do on my main channel is probably gonna be about 20 to 30 minutes long and I'm gonna go into detail about each item. And on this channel, I've decided to just do kind of a quick one. I'm gonna try and squeeze it all into about five minutes just to give you guys a kind of pre-look uh, on what the actual room tour is gonna to be. I'll keep it nice and short. Now most of you will have seen my uh, trailer which is over on my main channel for the main room tour itself. If you haven't I'll put a link around here somewhere and you can just click on that and go and check out the trailer for the main event. But like I say really what I wanted to do was just give you guys a quick kind of five minute whirl around my room just to give you a quick insight into my room tour before anyone else gets to see it. Anyway guys let's get on with it. Right, so first of all guys, this is an actual kind of view of my desk. I've laid a few things out on the desk, although a lot of it was already there before I've even started. Now just above the monitors, I've got my Apple G4 clock, which is made out of the base of an iMac G4, which I absolutely love. There is a video on that and I will leave an annotation for it, so click that and have a look at that if you want to see it. Over on the right hand side here, I've got my uh, Canon MP640 printer. Uh, that does like all in one, it does scanning, printing, absolutely everything. Great little printer for a relatively small amount of money. As we move along, I've got my MacBook Air. This is a 2011 MacBook Air. It's got the Sandy Bridge processor. It's the 11 inch version, um, four gig of RAM. I can't remember the processor speed and it's got the 128 gig SSD. Absolutely love the MacBook Air. It's just the most fantastic laptop of all time. So moving along, I've got my drink. <laughs> I've got my BlackBerry Bold here. Uh, and my iPhone 4S. The BlackBerry Bold 9900, I adore it because of just of the styling of it and the build quality. And I also use it for BBM. I've got my iPhone 4S, it's the 64 gig white version. Um, most of you will already know my thoughts on that. I've got an Xbox 360 as well, which I very rarely play, but it's there just in case I want to. I've also got a card reader hanging out there, multiple card reader, a couple of SD cards. I've got the Magic Mouse here which I absolutely love, by far and away the best mouse I've ever used. I've got the wired keyboard because I just prefer it over the wireless one, although I do have a wireless keyboard stored and stashed just down here for when I want to kind of put my feet up and, and just sit back and use that. I've got the Zoom H2N microphone, which there is a review for on my main channel. Again, I'll put a link to that up in the annotations. I've got my Steve Jobs iHub here as well, which is just fantastic. Again, I'll put a link to that video up on the screen for you so you can have a look at that. Slightly over to the side of that, I've got my Sky HD box, which means that I can just watch all of the Sky channels in full HD. I think there's probably about two or 3,000 of them. Got my little Samsung hard drive there as well, which just plugs into the USB port on my keyboard. Got a couple of remote controls, one for my Logitech Z5500 speakers and one for the remote control for my lighting when I do some certain kinds of videos. Now if I just grab this remote, what I'll do is I've got two floodlights behind my screens. Now if I just press the button on the remote, you'll see that there's a ridiculous amount of light and it just makes filming a lot clearer, makes the definition come out a lot nicer and again I can just turn that off as well from that, so that's what I use that for. Moving slightly over, we've got a few devices here. Got the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which is my second phone, absolutely loving that. It's on three mobile, and I use that for all of my sort of out and about vlogs. Got the Samsung Galaxy S2, which I use for my business phone, and then I've got the BlackBerry Playbook as well. There's the remote for my Sky, and then we've got the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Again, this is the 2011 edition. It's got a 256 gig SSD in it from Crucial. I'll put a link to the description, uh, put a link in the annotation for that video if you want to see that. I've got the controller for my Z5500 along with a Blue Yeti microphone. And that Blue Yeti microphone, again, is a nice bit of kit, but I am preferring the Zoom H2N. Now, over here on the tripod, this is my Nikon D7000, in fact. Uh, it's got the Sigma 17 to 72.8 on it, and then it's got the Lilliput screen next to it so I can actually see myself when I'm making my vlogs and various other kind of videos. It's on a bracket that just sits on a tripod, and I use that all the time. 
here I've got my snow edition of the iMac G3. There's a video again, I'll put a link to that in the annotations. Absolutely love it, it just looks sensational. Such a beautiful piece of kit, absolutely love it. I've got my iPad 2 there, that's a iPad 2 64 gig 3G plus Wi-Fi. Don't use it that much, mainly use it for reading magazines and online content. Just behind there, I've got my iBook G4, which is just beautiful, in perfect condition, and I adore it. I'll keep that for a long, long time. And then, the most beautiful of them all, the iMac G4. Again, there is a video of this, and I will put a link up in the annotations. And then I've got my little uh, lava lamp there, which I quite like. Up on the shelves, I've got uh, one of my watches, and um, I don't know what that is, but I just like the look of it. It looks like an ashtray or something. I think it's for holding a wine bottle of wine in, actually. A uh, few aftershaves that I like. I've got my Nikon um, 70 to 200 cup. <laughs> it's not a real lens, it's just a cup. And then I bought this little gadget off of, e off of uh, Amazon for five pounds. Tells you the temperatures, the highs, the lows, the humidity, the time, etc., and you can put alarms on it got my house phone and I've also got a Vodafone Shore signal which boosts the signal around the house to get full 3G reception for around the surrounding areas. Got a little remote control car here. You can actually control this through an app on your iPhone. That's why it's called an app racer. Just a bit of fun. Got my alien playing a saxophone because I used to play a saxophone. Um, I've got my bonsai tree. Got an Ed Hardy candle there that was bought for me by a friend. And then I've got a, an app copter which is kind of similar to the app racer but obviously is an app copter instead and you can again fly that using your phone up on the wall here got one of my idols bob marley absolutely love bob marley that's one of my posters there on a canvas and again another idol uh, bruce lee fantastic absolutely fantastic love bruce lee films again up on the wall here i've got a couple of originals this is an al pacino painting and then along from that i've got a bruce lee one down on the wall further, we've got a Rizzler poster. It's actually metal as well, and I just kind of like it from uh, back in the days. If I just go around the back of my monitors here, you can see I've got my Mac Pro sitting there. I've got this new Synology box, uh, which I'm testing at the moment, and then I've got one of the floodlights and a speaker that you can also see. Now if I just zoom back out, on that. Underneath my desk I've got a whole bunch of storage underneath there that I use all the time. Also I've got this little cabinet with my Frono's photo and Apple stickers on and inside this cabinet I have all of my battery chargers. Don't know how that's going to come out on video. Uh, I've got my Nutrient power supply for iPhones and iDevices and then I've got a collection of hard drives these are all, I think, one or two terabyte, and I just use them for storing a whole load of data on. Down at the bottom, I've got some boxes for some of my iPads and various bits of Apple stuff. I've got my v motor headphones there, in that case, probably not coming out very clear in here. I've got an LED light that I use sometimes for videos. Pretty powerful, actually. If I turn that on, it will just blind you. There you go. So you can just use that when you're doing kind of product videos. And then I've got my slider for when you're doing nice kind of cinema type videos as well. And then a couple of charges for the Lilliput screen and also my video camera. And I just put that in there when I want to charge it. Bit more storage over here, just a few drawers and whatnot. Down the side of that, I've got my keyboard and the mouse for the iMac G3. And that's about it guys. Crikey, this is actually run into like nearly nine minutes, I think, and I was trying to do it all in five. But anyway, that is a quick run through of uh, my room tour. Like I said, I wanted to kind of give you guys a, a, a sort of behind the scenes look quickly before I do my main video on the main channel. I've got videos for what I use my six screens for. Again, I'll put links in the annotations and you guys can click off to all those videos. I've got a complete gadget tour and soon I will obviously have my complete room tour with details on everything that I've got as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but I will see you all in the next one.